Good evening and welcome to the eve of the Sweet 16 for the Badgers. Tomorrow, Wisconsin can inch closer to a potential third consecutive Final Four appearance. Notre Dame is next. For a breakdown of what to expect Friday in Philadelphia, here is News 8's Charlie Clifford. Greg, welcome back to Philadelphia. Let's get right to the heart of this Sweet 16 matchup. Notre Dame is not shy about playing the Big Ten. The Irish are 3-1 this season against the Big Ten, including that round one win over Michigan. Expect to see a lot of the high pick and roll between the big man, Zach August, and the point guard, Demetrius Jackson. Jackson's coming off his best game since mid-February. He gets to guard a kid that's coming off, you could say, the best game of his life. I think you know who that is. He's always been like that. You know, I recruited him since he was a freshman in high school at Lacrosse Aquinas. So I've seen him take a lot of big shots. I haven't, he hasn't made every big one I've seen him take, but I'm glad he's on my team. I know that. I wouldn't trade him. It definitely felt really good to uh, get out there and make a couple shots, and especially, you know, a game winner, a game tire and a game winner like that. So hopefully I can let that, you know, propel me forward in these mm -hmm. next next. Four, game, or four games or so. As for Nigel Hayes, based off today's shoot around, things appear normal for the Badgers' leading scorer. He joked with teammates throughout practice, mixed in a heavy dose of jump shots. He needs to find it for tomorrow. Hayes is an ice cold 17% from the field over the last three games. He's still the leader of this team and uh, we still need him to win. You know, Even though we uh, were fortunate enough to get the job done um, when he didn't have his best games, we know that going forward, you know, we'll need him to be ready. We have trust in his jumper. Um, we're not making it too big of a deal out of it, uh, and I don't think he wants to make too big of a deal out of it. It's, easy, it's easier to play when you're not thinking. Back to the Irish, Badgers assistant Lamont Paris told me today he expects to see a bigger lineup tomorrow from Notre Dame. Mike Bray's gone with four guards in each of his last four games. The key for either team early, though, keep your anchor out of foul trouble. If August or Ethan Happ head to the bench early with foul trouble, look out. That's going to do it from here. We'll keep looking out for you all the way up until tip-off. For now, it's good night from the streets of Philadelphia. Thanks, Charlie. Badgers and Fighting Irish go at it tomorrow night, 627 on TBS.